Winter is one of my favorite season, simply because there's something incredible and peaceful about snow and the sun in that time of the year. I love challenging myself, that's why swimming in cold water is one of my favorite things to do in the winter time. I truly believe in wonderful benefits and health factors that you get from that. Nothing can make me more awake and focused than ice swimming. Coffee honestly can't compare. By putting my body in this kind of discomfort, I stay grounded even in the most challenging situations. It teaches me how to be patient, strong and focused. I try my best to stay connected to my body and nature, and that's exactly what winter swimming is about. I used to not appreciate the winter months. I found them dark, boring and sad. I was constantly exhausted, never wanted to go outside. But then instead of dreaming of warm spring, I started to appreciate that time and place where I live. Finding those moments healing and peaceful. At that time of the year, days are usually pretty short and cloudy, so we don't get much sun. Some days can be very challenging, especially when it's just starting to get colder again. It's really hard to wake up in the morning and have energy to do anything. Even the shortest flicker of sunlight can immediately brighten my mood and make me feel alive again. It's important to find an outdoor activity that you enjoy to help you go through those difficult times. For me, it's skiing, ice skating or even hiking. The fact that it's getting dark at 3 p.m. doesn't stop me from getting a daily dose of fresh air. Some days I would also sit by the fireplace covered in warm blanket with hot chocolate in my hands. I don't live right next to the mountains, even though I wish I did. Fortunately, I have a very short ride there. That's why going to the mountains is one of my favorite things to do at the weekends. Seeing tops of the mountains covered in fresh snow is impossible to portray. It makes me fall in love in nature and things that it has to offer all over again. Okay, I'm at the lake right now and I'm about to do an air haul. It's gonna be a little bit hard, I'm not gonna lie, it's very cold right now, but it's very pretty. I have the equipment needed for this. Yes, that's not gonna happen. This is gonna take a while. Quick tip, always do the air haul and like prepare this before you go to sauna, before you warm up. Waste that time when you're really warm up on doing this because it takes a while. Very small movements to break the ice. Don't do this like really, really big because then you can like hurt yourself really badly. My sister's gonna help me. This should be quite big so you can fit yourself in here. I'm almost done. Yay! <laughs> Made wow. it. So cool. The air hole is ready. The sun is so strong today, but it actually is good. Hopefully I won't be freezing at the end of it. We are gonna prepare a fire. So after I go into the water, I'm gonna have a nice and warm fire. Wow. I'm gonna go then jump into the water, you know, sauna, water. I will warm myself and change into some sort of clothes because I am not gonna sit in the swimsuit for the rest of the day. What are you doing exactly? I have power bank because my battery is running low because of that weather, it's so cold. I hope it's gonna work. I brought some paper. No call on the mic. We are about to start a fire. In a second, I'm about to go to the sauna. Now the sauna is heated and I'm ready to go. I'm probably gonna be around 15, maybe 20 minutes until my body is really, really warm up. So I'm really sweaty. Important, grab a towel. It's not like a regular sauna. It's 50 degrees right now Celsius. It's so freaking hot already. I can't keep my camera here. It's way too hot for that. 
What can I tell you? It's very hot in here. I don't want to sound too dramatic, but sitting in that sauna is almost as hard as going into that freaking water. Yeah, the lamps are also underneath the seats. 50 degrees is up there because the thermometer is up there. Here, when I'm sitting, so right between those lamps, it's so much hotter. Here I have a little hourglass time measure, so I know exactly how long I sit here. Some people find it very relaxing. For me, it's kind of boring because I never never know what to do with myself. Sometimes I would go like in the morning because the cold water is like, it gives me so much energy. Better to do it in the morning or at least until like five, max 6 p.m. Because then you won't sleep 50 freaking degrees. It's like the hottest summer. When you do sauna, and the cold water swimming you need to like measure that all of that combined the water the preparation air hole all of that shit is gonna take you probably like an hour it's been 15 minutes and let me tell you one thing i regret washing my hair because yeah i am low-key or like high key, I'm dying. My heart is beating so fast, which is normal. I'm like sweating all over. By the way, I'm so sorry that my energy is so like crackhead a little bit right now because I'm like shaking. Even though I've done this so many times, it's still like get that spark of excitement. It's part of the process, guys. Okay, I made it to the lake. So cold, I have shoes on. Cause it's not worth without sho shoes. I can't even talk right now. Okay, where to put that towel? That's the question. Okay. Whew. I'm scared. No, no. Maybe shoes. Keep your hands like that because your hands get so much colder than the rest of your body. And don't do it as quick as I did it because it might cause some sort of hyperventilation. That kind of feels good after a while. I kind of feel like a pressure on my chest, but it kind of feels good. You can close your eyes, relax. I'm not gonna wet my hair, I'm not that crazy. That's what my sister did. Talking and doing that, it's so much more challenging. <laughs> when I first did it, it felt so painful. It felt like a million needles went into my legs and my body. I lift my legs, look at that. Whoa, they are so red. What the heck? Oh my Lord. Wow. Whew. Okay. Now I put the shoes, but first let me dry myself a little bit. I can't feel my body. Wow, it's so weird. <laughs> now it kind of feels warm, Loki. And I have a very weird energy levels right now after that. Taking the towel off, cause I'm a badass. That was not funny at all. Take like a warm shower. Don't let this too, too cold and too warm. Kind of like in between, but don't do this for too long. And put a warm clothes on after. It's not that cold anymore. Now it's like chilly, but not too much. So I'm already after the cold water swimming and now I'm warming up a little bit. Because overall I'm fine, but my hands are kind of cold and like really frozen. My sister didn't do such a great job with the fire. Yay! Whew. What do you want? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't even try! Don't even try! My entire body after I came from that water was so freaking red. Here is the air hole that we made. I wanted to tell you about some of the benefits that come through doing all the things that I did today. It boosts your immune system, which is super important right now. It activates endorphins. That's why I have so much energy right now, because it like really boosts your endorphins. It improves circulation, it burns calories and reduces stress, which is so nice. I'm so hungry every single time. But little tip, don't eat anything before this. Just drink a lot of water, stay hydrated before and after the training you cannot immediately just go into that water like up to your neck because oh my god Whew, my eyes sorry my god 
you cannot immediately go into that water you just have to practice this and every day go a little bit deeper a little bit longer I would recommend you starting with doing this once a week for maybe just a minute up to your knees not more and then maybe start to progressing this maybe doing two to three times a week and starting going deeper so basically not on your legs but maybe your chest the first time I did this I just like went for it I literally jumped into that water up to the neck and I had such a bad heart rate afterwards I just felt really bad my body was like cramping it was a very like weird experience so it was like very bad experience and I would not recommend doing that don't do this maybe for too long always measure your time it can be dangerous if you do this incorrectly if you are unprepared it can be quite challenging I would just try to warm up my hands a little bit more this is what I've been doing past few years I'm definitely getting better and I can stay longer and my breath is better I would be lying if I said that anyone can do this because there are some sort of medical conditions that you can do this so please check this out before you do it if you don't have a freezing cold water because that water is really really cold right now you can just go into water that has few degrees but I wouldn't recommend you going into water that has over 10 degrees Celsius because that just wouldn't be as effective as as challenging as it is right now thank you guys so much for watching that video I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time come to my table come to my bed go easy my hunger easy my head